industry giants Pepsi and Coca-Cola have decided to make a PR move. And they're making a PR move specifically in regards to plastics and the plastics lobbying. Now, Pepsi and Coca-Cola have been pretty environmentally conscious, at least in their in their PR, and they want to be portrayed as such. And so, like other companies, they've started to ditch the uh, Plastics Industry Association here in the United States. And what the, the Plastics Association has done is that they've secretly lobbied to to fight any pushes from you know city and state regulators to to ban any kind of single-use plastics, um, you know, of, of any kind, and some of which Pepsi and Coca-Cola would use in some of their products. And so what the Plastics Industry Association has is they have a, a group of members, generally larger companies that that secretly pool money. Uh, because they, they, you know, they do have some level of confidentiality as members, so they, they generally do not s disclose who their members are. But sometimes uh, organizations can find out who the members are. And it was actually Greenpeace that put the pressure on Pepsi and Coca-Cola, um, pointing out that they that they had actually claimed that they did not support plastic bans, while that they knew that Pepsi and Coke were funding the Plastics Association as well. And so I think it's great that Pepsi and Coca-Cola are doing this, even if it is for PR reasons and if it is to look good. It's important that companies, you know, are held accountable through public perception and and can actually match what it is that their customers want to see from them. And their customers, I'm assuming, want to see that Pepsi and Coca-Cola can be as green as possible. So that's great. <laughs>